should my son play up or should he play down? Well, I believe that, you know, it's going to be depending on what type of league you're in. I believe if you're in travel ball, and let's say you have an 11-year-old kid that wants to play with 12-year-olds, and he's good enough, and he's big enough, not necessarily big enough, but strong enough, uh, I'm all in. I think that's the key words. If, it's, if he's good enough, yeah, why not? You know, instead of dominating kids that aren't, you know, up to his standard yet, up to his level, I want to be challenged. I want to be that guy that's going to compete. But I also believe that as a parent, do not get caught up in, well, my kid's not good enough yet, or, or he's not as good as the best player in the league, and he's two years older. Picture your kid two years down the road. See, you guys have always heard me talk about having a big picture. This is not about winning, winning the Burger King championship. This is about big picture. This is about your kid hopefully playing in high school, hopefully playing in college. And if he's lucky enough to play pro baseball, that's great. But when you play up, I played up every single year. You know why? Because I had an older brother. And he was one year older than me, and I was probably as good as him. And it helped me. Uh, and as long as you are developing, I'm in. So if you're good enough to play up, I'm all for it. But just let's keep things in perspective, you know. And it, it, I, I, would I like him to dominate? Yeah, but he doesn't have to dominate every single game like he would if he was playing down. So keep it fun, as always. And if he's good enough to play up, have him play up.